careful around here, Karis. Our data shows a lot of sharks in this area. You'll want to avoid open water, or they'll swarm. Relax, Marshal. This is not my first time dealing with agitated fish. First aid kit. Not new to this, Marshal. Another data log. Okay, but don't get too distracted. Find a safe spot to go over the logs, or the sharks may swoop in when you're not paying attention. Yep, swooping is bad. You weren't kidding about these sharks.
Take care, Keris. That sub is your lifeline. It's stalled out. You can still use the Aquajet, and oxygen refills shouldn't be a problem. Try finding a repair kit. You'll have to effect repairs from the outside. You still have an active mission, Keris. You can replenish your oxygen from the hatch at the top of the sub, but stay focused on your objective. You still have an active mission, Keris. You can replenish your oxygen from the hatch at the top of the sub, but stay focused on your objective. It mentions one of the subs was carrying cesium. Doesn't that stuff explode when it comes into contact with water? It does, but both Necton and Odin make clever use of that property for controlled demolitions occasionally. The log mentions EMP activity. Marshall, is it possible a naturally occurring electromagnetic disturbance could have destroyed all these submarines? EMPs don't propagate underwater, Keras. And even if one actually could, I can't imagine the power source needed for a surge of that magnitude. This might be out of our comfort zone, but we can't ignore the situation. Never said I was good at turn back, Marshal. You know me better than that. While you're at it, see if you can find that RTX detector. What's that? The Resonance Terrain X-ray detector. It would be incredibly useful. What the...? What's happening? Are you okay? Something was interfering with my screens. Weird. No frequency, perhaps. Anyway, I found the coordinates of the ship mentioned in the logs. Go and have a look around. I must say, this new Odin equipment is amazing. Now I understand why my father was so excited about it. Yeah, it allowed him to perform the very first EVA at that depth. He always said it was one of his proudest achievements. I guess me coming in second place isn't so bad. Any father would be proud of his daughter following in his footsteps. Literally. Following his footsteps? More like lurk in his shadow, you mean? You know that's not the case. Nekton would not keep giving you work if you weren't one of the best. Thanks, Marshal. See if you can find anything useful left behind by the sub operators. I see a thing down here. I need some light. Use your metal detector to look around and see if you can find anything useful. Also, try and find a battery. It will extend its life.
see? Uh, I think I've found the crew of the Pomeranz. Oh, what's left of them? Found the adhesive, Marshal. Good work. Hopefully it's enough to fix the sundial. I see a thing down here. I need some light. I found a working battery. That should allow me to get this RTX in working order. Great job, Garrus. Marshal, according to the first data log I found, there should be another two subreks in the area. See if you can use the RTX to find them. If you have to quickly navigate shorter distances, use your sub's Aquajet. It launches from the airlock on top of the sub. Brilliant. That might come in handy. Stay focused on your objective. 